So we are going to design C clip in this tutorial. So the units of the drawing are in inches. We have to verify that. Go here on browser under the document properties, expand it, and you can see the units are in millimeter. So we have to change it. Click here on change active units and under the unit type change it to inches press ok now we have to open the sketch so click on create sketch and you can see there is the three planes we have to select a plane to draw the sketch so i am going to select this this face the front plane and now we have to select this line tool and from this this point we have to draw a line so I just draw a vertical line uh, sorry a horizontal line so the line is horizontal you can see three things one is the dimension second is the degree degree is zero that means it is a horizontal line and you can also see in blue a small symbol of the constraint which is the uh, horizontal constraint so we place this line like that and then click ok next select the line tool and draw a line at some angle like that and click here on this check mark and you can select this option the select so we deactivate the line tool now select the dimension tool and we have to dimension this line so from this point to this point this has the this this dimension we are placing it horizontal this horizontal dimension is 0.25 and again select this point and this point and place a vertical dimension like that in in a vertical way and this dimension is 0.25 like that okay and again now select this point and this point and this point these two points the dimension between them is 1.25 like that so this is these two lines we fully define it we give all the dimension to these two lines again select the line tool this whole shape we are uh, we are drawing it by using the line tool okay now select the line tool and first point must be coincident with this this end point of this line so add here and draw a line like that then move vertical draw a line then move horizontal draw a line then move vertical draw a line and then again move horizontal okay press okay right click and okay no this is the sketch we did not define the dimension here so that's why it's uh, looking very big we have to define the dimension so from this point to this point this dimension we have 1.5 okay and select this line and this line and we have to place a uh, the angular dimension between these two lines like that not like that place it here so this dimension is 45 okay next select this point and this line and this dimension we have 0.375 like that no select it and we needed this one in in that way so just drag it like that okay again select the dimension tool and define the dimension so this dimension we have 0 0.5 and dimension between this line and this bottom line this dimension is 0 0.2 so like that okay no so we achieved this sketch so far next select the line tool and draw a vertical line then a line at some angle then a horizontal line then line at some angle like that and then again a horizontal line then again move above like that just don't add these auto constraint like that and again a horizontal line and just we going to end this one so we just added this shape and now define the dimension and then move forward to add the other line close this sketch so this dimension for this dimension this point and select this point and add a dimension this dimension is 0.25 and again select this point and this point and place the dimension like that a vertical dimension 0.25 okay now define the total height of this sketch so from this one to this line this dimension we have 1.25
okay all right and dimension between this point and this point this dimension we have 1.25 like that okay and from here to here this dimension we have 45 angular dimension like that and the distance between this point to this point this dimension we have 0 0.5 like that okay then select it One point two five, one point two five. This dimension is forty five. Okay. No, we we make a mistake here, so we are going to delete this line. So select this line and press delete. Okay. And then we have to draw a line from this point like that, and then we draw a line like that that's okay so this portion i am going to dragging it like that and we want this point and this point having a constraint of coincidence so select coincident select this point and this point like that so these two points will be coincident and select or the other way is that you just delete these two lines and draw it again okay so now the dimension between this line and this line we have 0 0.5 right and this is also equal to 0 0.5 and from here to here this is also so it's also defined okay so this point and this point they are facing each other so select the coin uh, the horizontal relation select this point and this point so these two points are having a vertical relation okay now move forward so dimension between this line this line sorry select the dimension tool this line and this line have the dimension of 0.2 okay again select the line tool draw a line like that then move upward a vertical line then again a line at some angle so must make coincident with this line like that no our sketch is closed we just have to define the remaining dimension so dimension select this line and then this line to define the angular dimension this is 45 and the vertical dimension select this point this point and add this vertical dimension 0.125 and same way for this line select this line and this line and place the angle here this is 45 and then select this line and, and this point and this point and this dimension is 0.125 okay and select this line and this line and define the dimension point three zero so we just make this sketch using the line tools uh, we just uh, draw the lines and define the dimension to achieve this shape so it's uh, simple you just have to follow the these steps or you can start it from any point like you can start it from this point and then move forward okay now the sketch is complete just finish the sketching and just one further step just use the extrude tool under the profile select this area and when you select it this arrow will appear and it will define the material so you will achieve this uh, solid c shape which is c clip so this uh, distance under the extent type distance under the distance we have to define this dimension this dimension is given 0 0.25 okay so c clamp is done Thanks so much for watching this tutorial.